when this house came up for sale, we bought it because we like to kayak and fish around the corner here and we're able to kind of put in and get out really quickly um, and easily. And that's due to the dam right now is just a few, you know, maybe a hundred yards from here. So it kind of pulls up the water at the bottom of the hill. And it's not like that everywhere on Silver Creek. When you go on the other side of the dam right now, um, you can walk across it, there's no water. The way that it was brought to us, it was kind of abrupt. It was just through a piece of paper in the mail that said, hey, that we're, we're demolishing the dam. I think the outcome of it being gone, we're not really for it at this point. I would echo my husband's sentiment as far as the dam being vitally important to maintaining the amount of water and the accessibility of the creek for folks in the summer months, which is when I think it's most used. Particularly Floyd County residents, I think, you know, on this end of the bridge, this water would not be here without the dam. You could easily put a kayak or a canoe in and go upstream and fish, or if you have little kids here, they could swim right here in this area. It's nice and shallow. Uh, I don't see why they would want to tear it down. I mean, it serves a good purpose. Getting rid of the dam would be a mistake. You would quickly be erasing any history that's there and removing that dam, you've just taken away what a lot of people have spent their life trying to make theirs. It would disrupt the natural state that has been for the past 100 years plus in this area. It would take away a very nice fishing hole and swimming space. It would take away property from people who have invested in the city of New Albany. It would take away opportunities for us to fish and kayak. Um, our neighbors that enjoy that as well, it would take away those opportunities. I think it would decrease access to Silver Creek.